Husker Online was in Orlando, Florida on Thursday night at Dr. Phillips High School to see the Panthers take on Freedom High School. Dr. Phillips entered the contest with a 4-2 record, and their defense is led by 6'3", 250-pound Nebraska defensive end commit Robert Porsche. The Panthers started the night off slow, but dominated the 1-5 Patriots, winning 38 to nothing. I feel pretty good. I think we did um, good as a team. Uh, we were slow in the first half, first quarter, second quarter, but we came out with the win. So I think we did good um, for our senior night. It was a good game. What do you think? Why do you think you just kind of started off a little slow? I mean, what was it? Practice. We practice. We were this whole week. We've been at goofing around, just just having fun, not really focused. And we came out here. We weren't really focused. So we had a talk in the locker room. Third, going at halftime, and then came in. The rest shows it on the scoreboard. Porsche had one of his best nights of the season, wreaking havoc in the Patriots' backfield the entire game. Yeah, yeah, I think this was probably a, my, one of my best games so far. They're coming out with three sacks, uh, like four tackles, I think. So it was good. I, I'm happy for it. And he also came up with a big interception. The interception, interception yeah. I just pinched through the B gap. Um, outside linebacker came, hit the quarterback. As he hit it, he threw. So I just had my hands up. He tipped it, caught it, got tripped. So, me. Your teammates gave you a hard time for not scoring on that? Yeah, and they gave me a hard time when I, when I picked up the punt. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't really know what was going through my mind then, but it uh, worked out fine. They didn't score. So. But when critiquing his game, he knows he still has plenty to work on before playing at the next level. Uh, I say my strength is my get offs and using my hands, and my weakness is probably <laughs> looking more into the backfield. When I'm still on the on the office um, tackle or guard and not focusing on trying to beat him, I'm just too focused on trying to see where the quarterback is and just get a sack or just find out where he is. So I'm very like eager to get sacked because I'm three away from tying the record and four away from breaking the sack record. So. I'm just trying to get as many sacks as I can. Like Robert just said, he's knocking on the door of the Dr. Phillips career sack record of 25. But he says his senior season has had its ups and downs. It's been going good, but slow at the same time. I really, the first game, it was it was good to be back because I had thumb surgery. But after that, it just got, it was just slow. Me, I, personally, I think because I wouldn't get any sacks. But when I get sacks, like, just start like playing like my game so I'm just gonna continue to play my game and get the sacks. Some games I get double teamed and some games that they just don't run to the, my side at all so it just depends on like really who we play. Like next week will be a rivalry game so they'll probably have some plan. So just, I'll just study it and do good in practice and hopefully in the game you know the outcome will we win and I do good. Robert's dad played 13 standout seasons at defensive end for the Detroit Lions and is always close by to lend some advice. Uh, he gives me feedback. <laughs> if I mess up, he'll probably won't talk to me in that series. And we just we just have a good conversation. He gives me a lot of tips, good tips, and that helps. That carries over into my, my game. So I, I really like having him on the field, teaching me, helping me. So I like it. It's good. Robert committed to the Huskers in June following a trip to Lincoln during Friday Night Lights and returned on his official visit for the Oregon game. It was it was it was amazing. It, it was I can I can't believe all the people. So me playing me playing on the field and getting up there is, is going to be even different. So I just I'm just excited to get up there, probably catch another game. When I go up there for a school, then it's going to be a whole different story. And Porsche's relationship with Nebraska defensive line coach John Perella is very strong. Oh, we, we have a great uh, relationship. We talk every day, make a phone call, just goof around sometimes. And it's just, I like having him as a coach. Well, I'm going to like having him as a coach. So, I mean, it's cool. I like him. It's, it's a good relationship. Oh, he's goofy. He's real funny. But I watched him like in the game, like when they play Oregon, uh, he, he gets serious and he just helps the guys and tells them what they're doing and tries to help them. So he seems like a good guy, good coach. He says his dad and Coach Perella remember each other from their NFL days and really hit it off back in June. 
Like Robert says, he does plan to make it back to Nebraska for one of their last two home games. But next up is an official visit to Michigan this weekend for their game against Illinois. Yeah, I'm actually taking an official to Michigan next week. So I'll, I'll be going up there next week. So I look forward to seeing what they have to offer as well. Robert confirms that he hears a lot from the Michigan coaching staff, even though he's committed to the Huskers. Um, reaches out to me a lot, too. I, they show me a lot of love, the staff does. So, I mean, it's just like Nebraska. But it's just a different school. So, I mean, they like me. They, they want me, too. So I'm just going to take the trip and see what they have to offer. But he still is solidly committed to Nebraska. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just looking for it. Nebraska is where I'm going right now. So as of right now, that's what I'm doing. Okay. 100%. Finally, Porsche has been following Nebraska's season closely, and he likes what he sees. They're doing really good. I'm happy for them, and I'm supporting them, and I watch every game, and I just can't wait to get up there, get on the field and play. So they're, really, they're doing real good. Reporting from Orlando, Florida, for Nate Klaus, I'm Greg Peterson for HuskerOnline.com.